load shedding can leave you in the dark this winter. And when you're in the dark, you have to rely on your trusty lighter. But for some people like Todd Lambert in Alsis River, he doesn't have that problem. He can still switch on his radio or fan, or he can go to his microwave to warm up his porridge. And all this because he's taken time to set up getting power from the wind when that southeaster is blowing, or lovely sunny weather, and the sun is giving him power for his home. He tells us how he got into it. When I started the system, doing the research on the system, was basically in 2008, 2009 when Eskom had the big outages. My first um, solar system that I saw was in 1997 though. After the outages, I started doing the research and then in 2010, I started building a basic system. That system only produced 1.6 kilowatts a day. But since middle 2013, I've got a complete system that can do basically 15 kilowatts a day. This is the basic solar system where, if, where all the solar panel power and the battery power gets monitored from and converted from the DC to the AC. These are the two charge controllers. This is the one for the solar. This is the one for the wind turbine. And that is also a solar charge controller. These are the two inverters, two and a half kilowatts each. And this is basically my earth leakages to keep everything safe on the AC side. This is a bank of resistors to add load because a wind turbine cannot go without load. And um, what we're looking at is the future. There's a great saving, but we also save the environment. All of this combined will save you a lot of money on the long run. There you have it. If you don't want downloading to keep you in the dark, get into the sun or wind power to keep you powered up.